well, it is three o'clock in the morning. We woke up to snow and daylight. I think I think we slept about six or seven hours. I'd like to be hunting, but I don't want to get soaking wet just to go out and yeah. Look, I just look how wet I just got from going to get yeah. water. Yeah, I'm wondering. It would be cool to get on some bear tracks in the snow. I'm, I'm sure It'd be fresh. We've got enough visibility we can see. So far, we've seen some pretty decent tracks. Is it sign right off the bat? I mean, right the just right right over here on the trail we came up, there was a big old track. You were checking it out this morning. You know, on your phone, you took some pictures. Yeah. Looking at the front track, but also the rear track. The rear, rear foot's big. It's a big foot. Yeah. yeah. So, they're in here. We just got to find one. We will. We got time. Yeah. We burned one day yesterday, so we got like nine days. We only need five minutes. That's right. We just need that one magic <laughs> one moment. Shot. It's weird. It doesn't get dark here. It stays the same. <laughs> it's like light all day, but... Anyway, we did get a break in the rain and the snow. We broke down the tent, got everything taken down. We did see a moose up on the mountain, just bedded up in the snow line. And then uh, we just saw a little bit ago, just the coolest silver fox just coming through here. Um, but right now, we're gonna travel about three miles up this mountain, along this side, these low hills on this mountain. Um, Staying away from the valley, because man, even if you saw a grizz out there, by the time you got there, it'd be gone. You gotta bushwhack it. Right now, we're gonna head to the next river basin, and it's way bigger than this, it dwarfs this. But hopefully we can get eyes on some brown bears today, a few grizzlies, and uh, show you guys the first bears. some bear scat. Hey, that looks, it's so different than the other scat we've seen. Yeah. You know, this where it's all grass and green versus down there it was all berries. Bears. It's like, it's one black bear, grizzly bear, or it's just different food, different diet. You never know. How lazy they want to be where they want to get the food. <laughs>
side. He's hit. Nice shot. Nice shot. <laughs> He's hit. Oh, dude, that sounded good too. I saw him. I hit him. He almost went over. He almost, he almost did go over. <laughs> Giving us a run for our money. Dude, he's a nice bear. I like him. Got that brown muzzle. Good build. He's a tall bear. Tall. But don't they pop? They just stand out they on the landscape. Yeah. You know, to survive these brown bears, they got to be... They gotta be a tough black bear, yeah. big one. But he just flopping down. I didn't want to shoot him bedded. And then finally, he's sitting there and I'm like, he just gets up and decides he's gonna walk right away. I was glad when I said, stop him, stop him. And you're like, hey. He turned, I knew I didn't have much time, so. He got a nice broadside shot for you. Yeah, he's quartering away a little bit. So I tried to make sure I wasn't in the shoulder at all. That was actually my bear call. I've been working on it. Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, are you kidding me? I didn't want to have to try to get on him again. I thought for sure he wounded us that one time. Yeah. The he, who wounded us. He looked at us and picked his head, his head up, put his nose up, yeah. and he started looking around. And I'm like, oh, we're running out of time. He's going to bolt. And then he flopped back down. I was like, he's like, there's sweet. no humans here. <laughs> I think I rocked him. You rocked him. He he spun. He spun good. And he took yeah. off like a bat out of hell too. Yeah. Hopefully he's tumbled down the bottom of that hill. Is that a moan? That was. Wasn't or it was it? a ptarmigan. Oh. Yeah, they're making they do make them. Yeah, they're mating, so they're making all kinds of weird noises. <sighs> That's cool, man. He's a nice bear. Mm-hmm. We uh ditched our packs underneath our Silex, and um, we're gonna head on down. We just have our pack boards. We just pulled the packs off, and we're just running down here with these, uh, just our meat meat shelves. And then we're gonna stash that bear in a tree around here. All right, Brad, let's go get that bear. pretty crazy we were just sitting there at our tent and that this like super light almost white looking fox walked within 10 feet of us like six feet of the, t the tent and just walked right past us while we were getting getting ready to go here it was pretty crazy
gosh. <laughs> He's right here. Right over here. <laughs> yeah, he just, he died up there and just tumbled down. tumbled down. That brown muzzle, that brown muzzle is cool, Chris. Heck yeah, Alaskan brown, black bear. He's pretty, huh? I love that head on him, man. Dude, that is a big bear. <laughs> That's a nice black bear. That's a good bear. Heck yeah. Nice. Hey, yo, the exit is job. <laughs> Look at that exit wound. Yeah. Yeah, that was it, man. That that wrecked them. Should have. It should have. Uh, all the quarters. Every. All the meat should be good. Uh, break this sucker down. Yeah. Oh, dude, what a nice coat. Heck yeah. That's an older bear. What do those teeth look like? There? Not no, bad. Nothing broken? No. I mean, not a. They don't have real big heads, you know, up in here. They need more fish protein, I think, to do that. But, man, look at the coat on him. That is one Still thick. thick. The older bear, look at the scars on his muzzle. Oh, Just yeah. He's falling. Yep. He's doing a rug on him. Yeah. Save them all for rugs. Yeah. Well, Chris and I have got this bear mostly broken down. Got the hide here, all the quarters up in bags, back straps off, tenderloins. So, got the uh, locking tag on the bear, like you're supposed to. Well, Got that bear all broke down in our packs. Split it up between us. And uh, just making our way out of the hole that he ran and died in. Heck yeah, look at this. Look at this. What a place. I just, I'm just envisioning a grizzly bear. Just big old massive grizz walking by. Got a few days to find one. There's a tree over here, a pretty good size one. A lot of limbs and uh, some good shade and it's pretty tall. I think I'm gonna shimmy up that tree and hang all our meat, hide, skull, all that stuff. That one's heavy. Got it. Well, best we could do. It's not a bad tree. It's not going to be that easy for a black bear to climb if it wants to get up there. The grizz doesn't have a chance. So. Alright. Let's grab camp and let's go find a grizz.